Okay, I just want to uh, give a shout out to my sponsor for this video and that is Goo Photo and uh, they make tripods. And some of you may know I go through these mini tripods like there's no tomorrow so I'm always looking for you know the perfect tripod little small one as my kind of backup and when I go on the sort of walking trips and stuff and I snap the legs on them on a regular basis I've probably had three or four in the last year. Goo Photo sent me this one out and this has seven aluminium cores rather than just one piece of metal through the middle and uh, the legs are made of rubber rather than you know the kind of foam or the plastic or whatever so it gives lots of stability and lots of durability and this tripod it says can take up to 1.5 kilos that's a decent sized DSLR or mirrorless camera you can get on there you get your point and shoot you get your GoPro and obviously you get phone and that sort of thing on it and this rubber surround you know it's very tactile I do like it it feels like you can really abuse it which is good because that's what I tend to do which is why I always break these and it has the universal uh, camera attachment on the top uh, they chuck in a phone holder they also chuck in a little remote that you can sync to your phone to uh, have a kind of a remote recording if you record off phones I personally don't um, but a lot of people do and I think that's quite a smart idea keep that in your pocket and just click on and off as you go and this weighs 34 grams it's a little bit heavier than some of the foam ones I've had but it's a trade-off you know I'd rather it be a little bit heavier than it snap halfway through a trip which has happened to me so many times it feels very solid you know I've been bending it and all sorts and I'm quite impressed with it and I'll be using it on the trip you're watching now uh, on the top you've got the precision ball head you just loosen that up and you've got 180 degree tilt on there and I'll link this uh, tripod in the description of the video go and check them out they're like 16 quid it's not a lot of money for something that does feel a lot tougher than some of these types of tripods I've had so uh, yeah big thank you to Goo Photo and uh, you guys enjoy the video see you later Uh, sort of. Hello folks, it's been a long time. Haven't been camping for at least a month. Uh, yeah, a little bit of ill health, but all better now. I uh, thought I'd give the uh, East Hills, what's it called? Jungle Explorer hammock a bash. I'm out with uh, Mr. Burton Outdoors and Mr. Ash Outdoors at UK. It's a little bit of uneven ground here, so we're all gonna hammock. And um, yeah, gonna get set up before dark, get some firewood. Then we're gonna have a jolly old time in it. I made a video about this hammock, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I'll try and remember to link it up there if you wanna see some detail. But yeah, it's pretty comfy, sort of double hammock. Big enough for a
No, it was it had fallen. I was just pulled it over. It'd be fine. It's pretty dead. Huh? It's pretty dead. Okay, that was. A hassle. Just remembered why I don't like hammocking much. It's such a faff. And in the winter, when you haven't got a lot of daylight, the last thing I want to be doing is faffing about. But we're nearly there. Okay, just under blanket to attach. Here. You need to talk to the camera before it gets too dark. You want that? I'm just going to put some wood here. Okay. Is that a lead method of one logging it? Mostly, I think. Huh? Oh, yeah. Probably sensible. Do you know that camera I did the other week? We just had to for one piece of wood. What's that, the uh, one near the golf course? Yeah. So one literally in trees snapped them. Yeah. That wicky up fell because a lot of it was dry. Yeah. But um, I've started working that. I didn't finish that one. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a side line there. It's a bit of a long one for me, mate. <coughs> what? Twenty minutes? Yeah. Cool. Right. Let's get bag in and then do some wood. It's all right. <coughs> yes, this is a uh, kind of Christmas meetup for us. Oh, let's, get, let's get out of here. God, it's constricting in there. Yes, it's a uh, sort of our. Where are we? Middle middle of December, but. Last time we'll see each other before Christmas, so it's a bit of a little winter knees up. And uh, yeah, it's cold. I think it's gonna be just about in the minus tonight. But um, yeah, so I've gone with the Arctic sleeping bag and uh, I got me under blanket, so I'm not worried. I've got some little down booties as well. I'll show you them later. They look quite cool. And, um, yeah, it's a bit of a breeze blowing under my top. I meant to hang it all lower and I totally forgot, so uh, I don't know, I might adjust it, bring it all down a bit, but we'll see, not right now. Alright, I need to find some lip balm. Oh, matron. Oh yes, mother load. This is all oak. That is dead. Right, I'm going to make a little collection, I think. Patient, isn't it? Oh, I just come up the hill, just getting bits of wood, and we're at the last of the daylight. It looks lighter than it is from your point of view. 
Moon's out though, it looks pretty. It's a lovely sky. Sun went down over there. Moon's come up. It's beautiful. That's why I come out. Nice. A little pile. A bit more of a pile. We cleared a little spot. I'm going to dig a little hole, I think. That's a nice hoodie you got on. Oh, yeah, it is. It's very, very warm, actually. <laughs> Yeah, really nice. For your information, these Camp Life Bushcraft hoodies with the uh, sewn on, what do they call it, embroidered patch, they are now for sale. Short, uh, a short run of them, so limited supply. They're all XL, one size fits all. Uh, go to Outdoor Gear Essentials and look on the YouTuber merch page that Cole has. And um, yeah, if you want one, get one while they're there, because they'll be gone. There's some hats coming as well, hats like this, but with the logo on the side. So uh, yeah, Outdoor Gear Essentials is the place to go. Goodbye. Yeah, it's lovely out there, isn't it? Yeah. I'll put that down there. Actually, I'll put that just leave it up. It's time for a beer in a minute. Dark. Yeah. yeah, isn't it? This camera though, it's getting to, looking like dark now, but put your face in it. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Bad at all. What time is it? Half four. Bang on. This is Ash's uh, chair that you can fit a Thermarest mat in. He's got his Z-Lite jobby in there at the moment. Has it got sticks or poles? Yeah, it's got little, I don't know if they're carbon poles in there. Oh, cool. So, <laughs> it is better with the air mat, like I say. Got to tuck it in. <laughs> tuck it in like a trans. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? That's Suck it. it up. That's amazing. That's the bench as fuck, right? <laughs> then you've got to tighten it. Oh, I thought they were seat belts. It's like a child seat. <laughs> Isn't that's it? Like a, that's <laughs> like, nothing wrong with it. That's like a council house like, child seat. It's like, um, what's it called? Harry Enfield's chums. You know, where they yeah. dress up as little kids. Yeah. No, no. No, no, come to Harry. What do you look like? Well, a child in a. You do. I did try something similar and go outdoors once actually, but I wasn't very comfortable. It does look like a child seat in a car. Yeah. <laughs> so you go like that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even had a two beers yet. Oh, there you go. What's it called? You'll get a cold bum, surely. No. I usually just sit on this anyway, don't I? Yeah, I suppose. It's just something to lean back on. Yeah. What's it oh, called, Ash? Uh, there I've seen, um, Thermarest checking, checking chair. There you go. I've seen uh, your boy Bushman and Blue with his with the Thermarest in it. Yeah. That's oh, he's got one of thing, yeah. There you go. That's the Thermarest checking trekking chair. Don't buy one. They're shit. I think they're, <laughs> I think they're brilliant. Don't listen to him. <laughs> oh, he can't push can't. me over. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. See, in a real world situation, we'd have all frozen to death now. <laughs> Oh. I'm cutting out my ferro rod. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Just the bushcraft extraordinary. Oh, here, so. <laughs> there we go. Up and running. Is 
stay up and running. Your fire lighter will go out in a minute. <laughs> Oh, my hands are so cold. Yeah. Oh, wow, sack the oh. juggler. Oh, that was nearly Dan's bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to say goodbye now, Dan, because I need to put my gloves on. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Ash. Look at Ash's new turn. <laughs> <laughs> I moved like him in the wrong place. <laughs> That's brilliant. Mother care? <laughs> I can see. <laughs> oh, is my light off? Oh, there's going to be loads of stars tonight. Look at them. Yeah. Out already. Oh, that is cool. God, I haven't been this cold in years. Better, innit? Innit? Five. Yes, I'm going to get mine out in a bit. Thanks for the wine, Dan. That's right. Half past fire. Five. Half past fire. Half past fire. It is cold, isn't it? Do you know in the morning it's going to be absolutely freezing cast? I hope you're going to make me a coffee and bring it to my No. Home. I wanted to make myself one. You got food for the morning, Ash, did you say? I've got sausages and bacon. Oh, nice. And bread. And rolled yeah. And smart sauce. Oh. Nice. Here's my <laughs> thumbprint. <laughs> Stars, man, I love it. Oh, it's a beautiful fire. So nice to be out again. Uh, yes, so, Lee is uh, cooking a supper. Which is going to be an interesting experience. I think he's making Thai curry, so uh, we'll have a little nosy at what he's doing, shall we? Heroic on a Sainsbury's bag. So what's that? Uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass. Bash it, lob it in, take it out. Oop. Little cooking area for Mr. Burton outdoors. Thank you very much. Very kind. He's currently cooking outdoors. Cooking outdoors. Oh, my no, eyebrows no. are melting. Now, a bit more in. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> What's it got doing every shot? It's going right in your beer, look. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> that's my beer. That's your beer now. <laughs> <laughs> Outtakes. It's calamity. Oh, the lick of gar. So oh, sorry. <laughs> She got no hairs left on my fingers. What a quality um, kitchen utensil, Ash. Thanks very much. You're very welcome, mate. It's my finest carving yeah. to date. It's pretty good. Fish, bash, bosh. Fish. There you go. Oh, 
All right, dinner's on. Lee is cooking up a storm. That's Lee. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say hello to you. <laughs> hello, Ash. Hi. How Hi are guys. you? I'm good. How are you? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome to Camp Life Bushcraft. Shut up. Where it's... we light fires with Twizzlers. <laughs> with a lighter and some fire lighters. <laughs> proper, proper bushcraft. Oh, cool. Yeah, not tonight. Not tonight, missus. Yeah, what have you been up to? Talk to me. Talk to my valued subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> that sums it up, really. Uh, not a lot. Just recovering yeah. from the deadliest disease in the world at the moment. Yeah. And uh, yeah, me just both. Gen generally life. Yeah. So it's been a bit of a boring few months, really. Yeah. Chilling. Yeah. We're out now, though. Yes. It's nice, isn't it? for lost time. It's nice. Merry it's Christmas. Good. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, you <laughs> I say it's for say hello. But um, yes, yeah, go and, go and, uh, I'll put a link in the description, Ash Outdoors UK. I'm sure you all know who he is. Thanks, guys. But uh, yeah. It's been a nice one. Nice little permission, isn't it? Apart from the wind yeah. tunnel. Yeah, it's, it's a, a bit, bit cold tonight, isn't it? It is. There's a nice moon up there, though. Yeah, not quite full moon, though. It's a full moon <laughs> over there, nearly. <laughs> <laughs> at, least getting, at least getting butt naked. Mitchell man moon. Morning everybody. Not a lot of filming last night, just odd bits and pieces. <sighs> yes, good. Slept okay in this hammock. I never sleep as well as I do on the ground, but it's um it's alright. I think it suits you know where we are tonight or where we were last night because of the terrain but I think if the ground is flat, I'll be on the ground, as always. Anyway, I need some coffee and some breakfast. And uh, Lee, I need your cup, if that's okay. For boiling some water. I sacrificed all my pots for a... Oh, he's, he's coming that one with me. <laughs> Beer left if you want it. Oh yeah, I'll have a beer, why not? Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get up. Morning. <laughs> Morning. Morning. How are you? Alright, considering. Good. How are you? Yeah, alright. Got a bit of a headache. <laughs> Strangely. Sleep alright, Lee? Yeah, I'm good actually. Feet. It was cold, wasn't it? It's actually yeah, quite warm. It's because my under blanket's too small, I need a longer one. I'm quite impressed with that quilt, you know. Yeah, you warm me. That was puffy. One last night, wasn't it? Looks puffy. Oh, that's it. Mm. Draped over the floor now. What are we having? Sausage and 
bacon. Raw yeah, sausage and bacon. Sausage and bacon. Do you want some sticks? Shall I get some? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna come back when I'm boot or compass mentis. Need to get some wood and stuff. Thanks Ash, made us a lovely breakfast. You're welcome. I just pack all my stuff away now. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> a disaster last night, my chair broke. In that attachment there snapped on me. I've had this chair three years and it's done very well, but it's a goner. I'm gonna need a new one. I think my, my uh, Batman cape off. Yes, time to pack up. It's a little bit chilly last night in the hammock. As it turns out, my under blanket slipped off. Lee said in the morning it was only on half of me, so I think that's why I felt the cold when I woke up. As I said earlier, it's, yeah, they're a good idea, hammocks, but I'll never, I'll never get properly comfortable in them. All is well. This sleeping bag, though. Oh Without this, I'd have been very chilly. Right, I'm all packed up. Um, yeah, got my rubbish strapped to my pack. Fire's been cleared up, Ash cleared up the fire, and um, yeah, that's all good. So, just left to say thank you. Thanks, Ash. Thanks for having nice me. Nice to see you. You too. I'll see you later. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks, Lee. No problem, thank you. Nice to see your face. Not a good night. Not a good night. Yeah. Fat face. Look at my fat face. And yeah, we're gonna head off. So, see you soon. Bye for now. Goodbye. <laughs>